Welcome to Morris Money, where we talk about some of the most interesting small cap stocks in under five minutes. I'm your host, Morris Money. Today, we're talking about a stock that every gym goer should own. We're talking about Glambia. Together with its subsidiaries, it operates as a nutrition company worldwide. The company offers sports nutrition and lifestyle products in various formats such as powders, ready to eat bars, and snacking foods, and ready to drink beverages. It is worth noting that we're actually talking about the -the over-the-counter version of the stock. It's actually on the London Stock Exchange and is headquartered out of Ireland. But for the purposes of this video, we're talking about the -the over-the-counter stock because you can purchase that easier as an American shareholder. If you're big on fitness, you've probably had one of their products or if you've just tried to eat healthier, they own and produce Optimum Nutrition, Slim Fast, Think, Amazing Grass, Body and Fit, ISO Pure, BSN, Nutramino, and Level Up. If you watch any of our shorts on the channel, you know that we cover Warren Buffett a lot. And one of his key tips is to find businesses that have a moat around them, something that's hard to replicate and something that gives them a competitive edge. And Glambia has that. They own some of the biggest nutrition brands within the fitness space and their earnings back that up. About a month ago, the company posted its fiscal 2023 earnings and here's some key takeaways from it. Their adjusted EPS grew by a notable 20.5%, their dividend increased by 10%, The dividend is currently $1.13 and it's paid out on a semi-annual basis. Continuing on with some key takeaways, strategic capital expenditures of $52 million in 2023 were mainly spent on nutritional solutions and IT systems. They acquired a dairy bioactives business that they acquired for $45 million. They provided guidance for 2024, including a mid single digit volume growth and adjusted EPS growth of five to eight percent, excuse me. The company noted that they plan to focus on the marketing of three key protein brands within the company. Optimum Nutrition, IsoPure, and Think. With Optimum Nutrition and Think being two of the biggest brands within the portfolio. Do you see Mr. Norlington? He subscribed in style, and so can you. Subscribe in style with Morris Money. But here's a downside. The company anticipates higher weight costs in the second half of 2024, but they remain confident in cash generation and growth opportunities. Next up, let's look at some bullish and bearish highlights from the quarter or fiscal year. Starting off with the bearish, the SunFast brand experienced a 5% decline in the first quarter due to distribution issues and higher freight costs are expected in the second half of the next year, which will impact the overall balance. But some good news. First, strong demand for performance nutrition and protein products in international markets. Next, positive volume growth expected in nutritional solutions expected in premix and health and immunity sectors. And finally, an increased marketing spend on IsoPure and Think brands to capitalize on growth opportunities in the protein market. Once again, just showing you the potential and opportunity Glambia has because again, they can attack the fitness sector from all different angles because they pretty much have a product for anybody looking to get healthy, better themselves, or tone up their experience in the gym. Finally, for the part that you've all been waiting for, price targets. Currently, you have four ratings for Glambia, the OTC version of the stock, with three giving it a buy and one giving it a hold, with the average price target around $21.10 and about 8-9% to upside from this point. But one more thing as a word of caution, again referring to the OTC version of the stock, it gets very low volume. On Yahoo Finance right now, they see the average volume is around 511, which is quite literally nothing and the stock truly doesn't move unless you have some big buys or sells here or there so that said though if you want some more volume or less volatility within the stock when volatility could occur you might want to invest in the london version of the stock where glambia's ticker symbol is glb but for this video i figured i have a lot of american investors watching so i thought i covered the -the over-the-counter version of the stock but honestly look at both of them do your research and come to your own conclusions so let me know what you think about this stock down below and thank you for watching morris money